Quorum sensing is a process by which bacteria communicate using chemical signals called autoinducers to coordinate group behavior based on their population density. As bacteria release these signaling molecules, the concentration of autoinducers increases with the population. Once a critical threshold is reached, bacteria detect the signals and collectively activate specific genes, enabling them to perform tasks that are more effective as a group, such as forming biofilms, producing toxins, or glowing through bioluminescence. For example, Vibrio fischeri bacteria use quorum sensing to produce bioluminescence inside the light organ of certain squid, helping the squid evade predators by camouflaging with the moonlight. Similarly, Pseudomonas aeruginosa uses quorum sensing to regulate biofilm formation, which enhances its ability to cause infections. Imagine quorum sensing as a voting system. Bacteria vote by releasing signals, and when enough votes are cast, the group decides to act. This process is vital for bacterial survival and has inspired applications in medicine, such as designing inhibitors to disrupt harmful bacterial communication. Quorum sensing is a chemical communication process used by bacteria to coordinate group behaviors based on their population density. Bacteria release signaling molecules known as autoinducers into their environment. When the concentration of these molecules reaches a certain threshold, it triggers a coordinated response across the bacterial community. This allows bacteria to regulate activities that are more effective when performed collectively such as biofilm formation, virulence factor production, and bioluminescence. Quorum sensing enables bacteria to behave as a unified group, functioning almost like a multicellular organism rather than as individual cells. Example, the marine bacterium Vibrio fischeri uses quorum sensing to produce bioluminescence when its population reaches a critical density inside the light organ of certain squid species. Analogy Quorum sensing is like a voting system where bacteria vote by releasing signals. When enough votes are cast, the group takes collective action to perform tasks that benefit the community. Autoinducers are the signaling molecules central to quorum sensing. These molecules can be species-specific, such as acyl homoserine lactones in gram-negative bacteria, or universal, such as autoinducer 2 used for interspecies communication. As bacterial populations grow, the concentration of autoinducers in the environment increases. When the concentration reaches a threshold, autoinducers bind to specific receptor proteins in bacterial cells. This binding activates a signaling cascade that regulates gene expression, leading to coordinated behavior. Example, in Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Quorum sensing controls the production of virulence factors and biofilm formation, enabling the bacteria to establish infections more effectively. Analogy. Autoinducers are like text messages sent among bacteria. When enough messages are exchanged, the group decides to act. This coordinated response leads to behaviors that benefit the entire bacterial community. Biofilms are dense, structured communities of bacteria embedded in a protective extracellular matrix. Quorum sensing plays a critical role in biofilm formation by regulating the production of the matrix components and coordinating bacterial adhesion. Biofilms offer bacteria protection from antibiotics, immune responses, and environmental stresses. Quorum sensing ensures that biofilm formation occurs only when the population is large enough to benefit from this communal lifestyle. Example, the bacterium Staphylococcus aureus uses quorum sensing to regulate biofilm formation, contributing to its ability to cause chronic infections. Analogy, quorum sensing and biofilm formation is like coordinating the construction of a fortress. Bacteria only build it when enough of them are present to defend it. Many pathogenic bacteria rely on quorum sensing to regulate the production of virulence factors, such as toxins, enzymes, and adhesion proteins. By coordinating these activities, bacteria can ensure that their attack on a host is more effective and timed for maximum impact. Quorum sensing allows bacteria to delay the production of virulence factors until they reach a critical population density, reducing the likelihood of detection by the host immune system during early stages of infection. Example, in Vibrio cholerae, 
quorum sensing controls the production of cholera toxin, which is responsible for the disease's severe symptoms. Analogy. Quorum sensing in virulence is like planning a surprise attack. Bacteria wait until they have enough forces to ensure success. Quorum sensing is not limited to communication within a single bacterial species. Universal signaling molecules like autoinducer 2, AI2, enable different species of bacteria to exchange information and coordinate behaviors. This interspecies communication is critical in mixed bacterial communities, such as those found in the gut microbiome or environmental biofilms. Interspecies quorum sensing allows bacteria to establish cooperative behaviors, compete for resources, or adapt to environmental changes as a community. In the gut microbiome, quorum sensing facilitates interactions between commensal bacteria, influencing host digestion and immune function. Interspecies quorum sensing is like a multilingual conference, where different species exchange information to achieve common goals. Quorum sensing involves a molecular feedback loop. Bacteria synthesize and secrete autoinducers into their environment. Autoinducers accumulate as the bacterial population grows. Once a threshold concentration is reached, autoinducers bind to specific receptors in bacterial cells. This binding activates transcription factors, which regulate the expression of target genes. The signaling pathway ensures a tightly regulated response, enabling bacteria to adapt their behavior to environmental and population conditions. In Vibrio Harveii, two distinct quorum sensing systems integrate environmental and population signals to finely tune bioluminescence. Quorum sensing mechanisms are like a thermostat that adjusts based on the number of people in a room, ensuring the right temperature or response at the right time. Understanding quorum sensing has led to innovative applications in controlling bacterial behavior. Quorum sensing inhibitors, QSIs, are being developed to block bacterial communication, preventing harmful behaviors like biofilm formation and virulence factor production. These inhibitors provide a potential alternative to traditional antibiotics, reducing the risk of antibiotic resistance. Quorum sensing is also used in biotechnology to optimize microbial production processes, such as fermentation and bioremediation, by coordinating bacterial activity. Quorum sensing inhibitors have shown promise in treating infections caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a major pathogen in cystic fibrosis patients. Quorum sensing inhibitors are like jamming a radio signal, disrupting communication to stop coordinated action. Quorum sensing plays a vital role in symbiotic relationships between bacteria and their hosts. In mutualistic interactions, bacteria use quorum sensing to regulate beneficial activities, such as nutrient exchange, bioluminescence, or protection against pathogens. For example, in the squid bacterium symbiosis, Vibrio fisheri uses quorum sensing to produce light, helping the squid evade predators. In return, the squid provides a nutrient-rich environment for the bacteria. The Hawaiian bobtail squid houses Vibrio fishery in its light organ, where quorum sensing activates bioluminescence during the night. Quorum sensing in symbiosis is like coordinating a performance. Bacteria only light up when the show is ready to begin. Quorum sensing research is expanding to explore its roles in complex microbial ecosystems, such as the human microbiome and environmental biofilms. Scientists are also investigating synthetic biology applications where engineered bacteria use quorum sensing for programmable behaviors such as targeted drug delivery or waste degradation. Future research aims to uncover more universal signaling pathways and develop advanced quorum sensing inhibitors to combat antibiotic-resistant infections. Engineered bacteria with synthetic quorum sensing circuits have been designed to release therapeutic compounds only in the presence of specific pathogens. Advances in quorum sensing research are like upgrading from basic communication tools to smart programmable systems for controlling bacterial behavior.